get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Hill, I thought TV, in association with Macklin's Jim Marbao. With the O2 Arena today, just witnessed Callum Smith, seventh round stoppage of a Norbert Nesper party. Um, firstly, how do you assess that? Yeah, just how I thought it would be and just how it was. It was a case of Callum going in there, controlling things with his jab. Um, the kid is a, a game kid. I've watched him uh, a few of his fights. Based in America, although he's from Hungary. Uh, turned pro at 16, knocked his first, uh, won his first 14, knocked 13 out. Um, and then he's only been stopped once that's late against a, a good kid from uh, Canada at light heavyweight. So um, no one knew he's got to be a solid operator and uh, it caused us a few problems um, for Callum because uh, everyone's just used to Callum. I feel sorry for Callum at the moment because if he ain't blown him out in one or two, people go, oh, I don't understand. But he's uh, has two fights on the bounce now where he's got um, some rounds under his belt and it's, you know, and I know James, we're in a bit much like the Lee Selby situation. We're British, European champion and we're just ticking over waiting for that world title shot and uh, you can get a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for, flat. Um, although he's a model professional and he isn't and he's on the game, but because of the fights and the big fights he was in, he's gone from a brass to field into the European title now to uh, treading water. Like you say, it's ticking over, it's a win and it's keeping him busy and keeping his tool sharp. How do you sort of keep him motivated knowing that he has got that mandatory status and one slip up against these kind of fighters and that, all that hard work goes out the window. So how do you sort of keep refocusing that motivation with him? Yeah, uh, listen, he's got all the lads around him in the gym. He, he's in there and I think what I think Callum feels like uh, that he's in there and then after two or three rounds he feels like the crowd are going and, help, and got him out of here like and he's just got to learn and be patient that sometimes you have to win fights just by a jab and you can't be all 0 to 60 miles an hour in the first two rounds and I'd say that was his 21st fight tonight and uh, he's still learning, he's in a great position, he's got a mandatory and Luke Blackwood for the British and uh, hopefully now first bids will be called for um, him versus Badu Jack so he's in a good position and they'll fight again before the end of the year. I want to talk a little bit about Liam Smith, he goes out next week to Dallas to face Canelo big big fight do you feel more people should be talking about this fight they should be getting more column inches more tv more internet sort of time yeah yeah i do but i can't say anything because i'll just get stick and say gallagher's moaning again and everything else but i just said to a few there and the pressure of i just got out of the ring um that i know go to the vegas fights go to the big vegas fights and just said to them uh, you're in dallas next week lads no oh that's funny you were all there for a mere can versus sal alvarez you're all there for Triple G, Kel Brook, and why aren't you over in Dallas for Liam Smith? He's a bona fide world champion, a solid world champion, and uh, he's got a good chance, and uh, that just disappoints me that little bit, but listen, what can I do, what can I say? Uh, I'm not, I've got a uh, crack on about it. I'm sure Frank will be able to uh, have a say on it as well. People say with the amount of world champions that we have sometimes, world champions are neglected for attention and for this. Do you, do you think that's right that certain fighters get a lot of media coverage where other fighters sit, don't seem to get the support? Yeah, I understand. Now, if, you, if you're on about possibly Liam's last defence and defending against Jimmy Kelly, you go, Joe, you know what? Can't argue in that. Do you know what I mean? We were, we were competing with Tony Bellew's world title winner, Everton, which is a great fight. But Liam Smith is fighting Sal Alvarez, one of the superstars in world boxing. If you can't get any British press over to Dallas for that, then Jesus Christ, what are we doing here? We might as well give up and go home. How on earth can these people that are here tonight, to watch Triple G and Kel Brook, how can they not be as that big a fight over there next week? And like I said to you, they were there for Amir Khan and other American, uh, British fighters that have had big fights in America over the years that have gone for fast, not just Amir, but with Ricky Hatton, um, Joe Calzaga, when they fought the Hopkins and the, the Pacquiao's and the Mayweather's, and that's what Liam Smith's doing at the moment, so uh, that's it. What are you expecting from Sol Canelo Alvarez next week? How, what are you expecting from him and how? How hard of a task is this for Liam? Um, a lot of people have been telling me. I think um, I don't think Alvarez has took Liam lightly. I don't agree with that at all. I think um, Liam's well known on the west coast of America. Um, he's been in all the gyms over there, Goosens, Hunters, Roaches. They all are aware of him, Golden Boy aware of him. And I'm sure Eddie and uh, his other trainer, Chepo, there will be pushing Canelo hard to make sure they don't slip up with Liam. Um, but I do feel sometimes it's about having the right kid 
to do the right job. And I feel with uh, Liam Smith, I've got the right kid with the right tools, the right temperament for the big occasion to carry out the job that needs to be done here. Do you understand? Could face some people, some people might not have the tools for it, but I think Alvarez, uh, Liam Smith is a great puncher, great boxer, great counter puncher, hurtful body puncher, and uh, I think uh, Liam's got the tools to do the job. Um, I know Liam won't be phased by anything, um, and he's just got to go in there, and to Liam, it's just a fight, and uh, we see plenty of mistakes. Listen, we're not going to say uh, Alvarez is no good, of course he is, he's, he's a great fighter, got great speed and a hurtful puncher, but um, if you look closely and dissect him, we, we feel that there's areas there that we can exploit and have success in the fight over there. All we want on the day is the people there on the day to score the fight correctly and honestly and not to wake up Sunday morning and have a CJ Ross situation. Do you know what I mean? These kids are going in the ring, putting their lives on the line and uh, we want honest men to uh, score right. I'm sure Alvarez doesn't want anyone to do him any favours and Liam Smith doesn't want anyone to do favours to score the fight fairly and if they do that, Liam Smith will win. We saw footage recently of Liam Smith in his preparation sparring Kel Brook. How, how did that footage sort of get released? And the spar footage what we saw looked quite intense at some, at some yeah, point. Yeah, there were good sparring sessions, six and eight rounds. And uh, Kel Brook was great for us, for um, Canelo. And we were good for him for Triple G. So it's great that two world champions got together and uh, got sparring. You couldn't get no better than that. But that's that's maybe not heard of as much over here, but that's the norm over in America, if you understand, and uh, you've got to bring the best in, and that was it, and it was good competitive sparring, and uh, both boys got um, uh, stuff from it, got good work from it. Was it frustrating that the video ended up on the internet? I mean, you don't No, often see they're only showing the, the, the little bits that have gone out there, and it was well edited, and that, and that's all it was, it was sparring, it was helped to promote the fight, and it also, it helped Liam as well, to the bits that they showed, it showed Liam doing well, and it showed Kel doing well, and it gives the British fans a realisation that these kids, Kel Brook and Liam Smith, have got a great chance of pulling off good wins. Has Liam got enough power to stop Sol Kalina Alvarez, in your opinion, Joe? I'd, I'd go to what Sugar Ray Leonard once said, I'm not a concussive puncher, but I'm an accurate puncher, and that's what Liam Smith is, and he'll hit you again and again and again. And I feel if we're in that fight after seven, eight rounds, Liam Smith's got to put the foot, pedal, foot to the pedal, and uh, I do feel um, we can see a late stoppage for Liam Smith, I really do. Listen, we, we, we won't know till we're in there how strong and how powerful he is, but uh, we're usually confident. Know how long El Bifo's wanted the big fight, so fantastic and fair play for him for, for taking this opportunity and going out to defend his world title. Wish him the best of luck. We will have someone out there before you sort of get us both killed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, James, no, I'm not. It's not you, it's just anything else. I just gave it the press roll there at the ringside. I thought, Joe, there's Liam Smith going out there. Not one person from the gym, from the press, anywhere at all in the country, came to that gymnasium and watched Liam Smith in the last week of training, the week before it, or anything, or did anything, documented anything of him, of his training before he went out and fought. Yeah, I've seen it done many a time for many other kids, and all we expected is what other people had got in the past. That was all. On that note, thank you very much, John. No problem, James. No problem. You, I'll see you all, Coogan and Dallas. Thank you, mate. And thank you. No problem. £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now.